7.29 in Trinidad and Tobago. Well, as the video portrait, we're going to talk about eye health now. We begin the first of our four interviews focusing on eye health and some of the tips we can do to protect uh, the, these vital things, the our eyes. A World Eyesight Day was observed yesterday under the theme, Love Your Eyes. Well, to give us some tips on this year's theme so we can better protect our eyes, we are joined now by Dr. Dorian Dwarica, consultant ophthalmologist at Caribbean Vitreous and Retina Surgery Limited and the Trinidad Eye Hospital. Dr. Dwarica, thanks so much uh, for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, good of you to take the time at the start of our four-part series. Let's, let's begin by asking the question, why is World Sight Day actually important? Good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. Mohamed. Thank you very much for the opportunity to join your show. World Sight Day is quite an important thing because it, uh, it allows us to sort of reinforce the importance of vision, something that we have all of us have, but we sometimes take for granted. The problem because arises is when we start to lose vision and our a sort of quality of life starts to decrease. And then we start to notice and wonder, wonder what we could have done in the past to preserve it. So in light of this, we decided now to highlight the things we can do to improve our vision and put it into the form of a, a day that we, will allow us to sort of focus on these and send, disseminate the message to our population at large. And so, so let's talk about those things. We've highlighted it in, in the video which introduced our segment about, about the four P's that are the theme uh, for World Side Day. So, so take us through them because they are prevent, protect, preserve and prioritize. So uh, let, let's deal with the first one, prevent. Yes, so we, we, we put these little categories. They are artificial, but they allow us to sort of um, divide so that we could understand it better. Prevention is by far the most important thing. And it starts with a timely routine examination. So when we're all born, the people who birthed us, the, the uh, obstetrician and then the pediatrician and so on, will have an initial look at our eyes as neonates and as babies. And as we go onwards, we need to have regular examinations to see if anything obvious is wrong. Then this happens throughout the course of our early life. And then later in life as young adults, mid adults and older people, we were checked. And this prevention, this checking or routine examination can pick up problems that we have to look at. So for example, in young children, it can look at refractive errors, why they're not seeing well enough, and, and then prescribe the correct eyesight aids and glasses so they could perform well in their, their studies and their life in general. But it will also pick up serious problems that need urgent intervention, like global matters problems, problems with retinas, and other things that need urgent action. And as we get older, then we can have the, the checks, the, pre the prevention checks that will allow us to make sure we don't get things like chronic diseases, like glaucoma, and things like cataracts that could cause problems, which is reversible. So this routine examination is important. The other aspect of prevention, we can look at things like if we're sort of susceptible from a family history of glau glaucoma, diabetes, short-sightedness, we can take front and have these, thing have these things checked out. So these are the main areas of the prevention category. Okay, uh, and, and Doctor, if time allows, we might be able to expand on some of these, but let's move along to, to point number two, the issue of protect. And protection now entails us having an active role in what we call healthy habits. So healthy habits would be incurred things like eye safety. When we're at work wearing the proper eye gear, not subjecting our eyes to noxious chemicals, and basically seeking eye health, eye care um, assessments if we have any problems with these, having healthy diets that will allow us to eat foods when we're young to have our system developing well, but all, as even as we're older, having a healthy balanced diet to allow us to have continued eye development. Looking at things like screen time, as we're having now with our sort of pandemic and a lot more screen time, allocating time to allowing our eyes to adjust when doing close work. So these are some of the things we look at for the, for, in the protection category. Okay, uh, point number three now, let's, let's head into the issue of preserving and preservation uh, of, of the eyes. 
And preservation, the most important preservation things about the vision is when we have identified a problem to follow up on the appropriate treatment. So for example, we've gone to the eye, the, uh, the eye care provider and they said, you have some aspects of short-sightedness, you need to be followed up regularly. We need to adhere to that. If let us say the eye care providers decided that you have a glaucoma condition, you need to use eye drops on a regular basis. We, we adhere to that and we ask appropriate questions, understand it and keep our follow-ups. And in addition to that, we understand our disease processes. So this allows us a good aspects or aspects of preservation that will uh, uh, sort of be proactive to prevent disease problems. And, uh, and of course, I suppose the, the, the final piece probably probably the most relevant in the sense of actually prioritizing and, 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 and just uh, elaborate on that point for us, Dr. Dwaraka, of the importance of prioritizing eye health. So as we, as we said when we started, our eyes are ubiquitous. We all have them, we take them for granted. But as in anything else, maintenance is required. And to, be a, to un remind ourselves that our eyes are important is to prioritize it. So vision is crucial, not for us and only as adults, but for children. So we prioritize by making sure we go to have our routine examinations. We prioritize by making sure we take our medication. Prioritize by making sure that if we have family history of eye disease, that we find ourselves an eye care professional to check. We prioritize our children's eyes to ensure that they have regular checkups at the appropriate times and they followed up appropriately and we, aspire, we inspire them to aspire to good eye care habits. And, and uh, in, the, in the time that we have available, I'd just like to, to, to develop a few more points with you, uh, Dr. Dwaraka. But before we get to that, if anyone wants to get more information, wants to reach out to the Trinidad Eye Hospital uh, or indeed CVRS uh, to, to get more information and, and more guidance in this regard beyond the four sessions that we hope to have, uh, how do they reach out to the organization? The organizations are basically, we've, we've got our numbers, which will be uh, posted on the screen. We were represented on Facebook and Instagram, so they can do the appropriate searches. And then a search of the, of the web will also drop off our web page, and they could easily click on that. Furthermore, if they want any further, they can get from their normal healthcare professional who could refer them in to us. Right. And in, in the, and in the time that we have available, will, do, you, do you get a sense that people are prioritizing uh, eye health? Because we, there are so many issues, especially in this time of the pandemic. Uh, we hear about comorbidities, NCDs, diabetes, hypertension, so many other things. And uh, it might be a, an issue where people prioritize those issues ahead of eye health, although the eyes might be an indicator of some of those very same issues. Do you get a sense that there's a, a desire for people to appreciate the importance of, of prioritizing their eye health in that regard? We're seeing more so people getting into this. Over the last few years, when we had initiated events like these, and also as we get more representation on the airways and on the, on, in the um, virtual space, people are more becoming aware of the issues and they're asking pointed questions and they're looking after their they're coming and saying, listen, we want to have this check because our family had a history of this. So yes, we're seeing more of an interest in it. We're seeing more of an interest primarily because they're sensitized to disease processes that we can prevent, like glaucoma, diabetic eye disease, short-sightedness, and refractive errors. So these are things they know, they're quite aware now because it's put into the public space a lot more by our by the government system and by uh, pra private practitioners the world over. So yes, the answer is that. And, and, and finally, is that, is that a tough sell, especially in these difficult economic times when you explain to people, look, the money that you might spend now might be a tidy sum, will actually save you a lot more as far as expenses for glaucoma and other, other complications or indeed quality of life. Is that a tough sell, especially to younger people? It's those people who are already motivated are fine. Those people who have economic hardships tend to call in and apologize for not being able to be there, appreciate it, but it's always that balance. So it's not a very tough sell for the older ones or the younger ones, but those in the younger, young adult category, they seem to be the ones who neglect it a bit. And this is why we hope that this outreach pattern reaches them and 
sensitizes them to the importance. Dr. Dwaraka, we want to thank you very much indeed for taking the time to be with us this morning, the first part of our four-part series focusing on eye health in, in collaboration uh, with the uh, Trinidad Eye Hos Hospital and CVRS, which is the Caribbean Vitreous and Retina Surgery Limited. You can reach them on uh, their website, trinidadeyehospital.org, on uh, all their social media uh, pages, and indeed uh, our focus today on World Sight Day and uh, the four Ps, uh, prevent, protect, preserve, and prioritize. Thank you very much indeed uh, to August. And we look forward to next week's installment. There's more Morning Edition coming up after the break at 739